Hey, it's Michael Train, artist and owner of Train of Vain Tattoos here in Salina, Kansas. Um, today I wanted to do a little video over how I became a tattoo artist, what inspired me, and how you could go about becoming a tattoo artist if that's something that interests you. Um, I want to first talk about what inspired me to become a tattoo artist. Um, so from a very young age, uh, I grew up fairly poor. Uh, my hobbies were, was art, drawing, painting. Uh, I got into skateboarding and BMX at a pretty young age. I did that all through my teenage years. Um, I've always been into just creating simply um, when I was 18, I became a welder at Geoprobe. I was there almost 10 years. Um, my favorite thing about being a welder was when I got to create and build and fabricate my own custom design, you know, whatever it had been. I made a lot of custom stuff and a lot of custom things you see in the shop, like these shelves I made and there's a lot of other stuff I can show you guys down the road um so anyways uh like i said from a young age i was pretty into art uh i i pursued the uh, welding and i did that um what actually got me into tattooing was uh when i was 16 i got my first tattoo little tattoo on my wrist Oh, this little, this little guy, it says love. Um, I got that and I realized at 16, this is a profession that I could pursue that could actually be something beneficial to me. Uh, I was very interested. I was intrigued with the whole, whole thing. Uh, that was just a local shop that I went to, Point Blank, used to be here in Salina, Kansas. Uh, Gomez, I believe, was the name of the artist that did it. Uh, anyways, after that, the internet provided quite a bit of options for me, even at that time. Uh, as far as YouTube and learning about tattooing and the craft. And I decided when I was about 16, 17 to order a tattoo kit. I ordered a tattoo kit off eBay, I believe. Uh, basically just started doodling on my legs. Do not recommend this. I think uh, if you are interested in becoming a tattoo artist, I'm just telling you what, how I went about doing it. Uh, Definitely would not recommend getting a tattoo machine and trying to tattoo yourself without the supervision of a licensed artist to help you. But at that time, I didn't really care. So I did it anyways. Uh, friends and family seen what I had done. I started doing some friends and family. Um, then I had a scare. I had a friend, his mom had called the police on me. He was uh, 17, I was 18, and uh, I almost went to jail over it. And that probably would have been the end of tattooing for me right then. But luckily the mom didn't press charges and I decided then to stop tattooing and I worked on my art. I worked on paintings and drawings, uh, perfecting a portfolio. And I took that portfolio, I believe I was age 22. I took that portfolio to several shops here in town. Uh, the shops I took it to were all interested in my work, but unfortunately there was only one shop that could take on an apprentice at the time, uh, which was fine. I didn't care really where I got started as long as I got started. Um, so I took an apprenticeship with Sean Martin at Salinas Tattoo Parlor. Uh, 
I did a two year long apprenticeship under him. And what that apprenticeship consists of is, I believe it was 1200 hours of all kinds of different things from continuing education, bloodborne pathogens, and you know, learning about the tattooing and the craft, and 50 hours, I believe, of uh, tattoo time under an apprenticeship, and then a six hour writ or a practical test through the state, and a two hour written test, uh, I believe, was what I had to do to actually get my license once my apprenticeship was all said and done. Um, it's definitely a process if you want to become a tattoo artist, especially in the state of Kansas. The regulations are much greater than other states. Uh, so if you are interested in it, just know the best place to start is by building a portfolio and, you know, while in the artists that you bring it into because there's a lot of people that want to be a tattoo artist and if it was easy then everybody would do it so it's uh it's it's something to not be taken lightly i mean you're putting something on somebody's body permanently for the rest of their lives and i personally i take it very seriously every single tattoo i do i don't care if it's an infinity sign or if it's a full colored portrait i I don't, I don't care. I, I make sure it's quality over quantity every time. Simple as that. Um, so that's basically how I got into tattooing and what inspired me and a little bit of tidbits on how you could go about getting an apprenticeship. Um, currently I'm not accepting any apprenticeships. I am a, pretty much a one man band in my shop. I. I kind of like it that way. I currently have, you know, limited space and I like my space. So if you are interested in apprenticeship, I suggest talking to maybe some of the bigger shops. I can definitely recommend you if, you know, you have some really good work to some artists that I know that have got some bigger shops. Uh, I do plan to expand the shop in the future and I'll probably take it on apprentice at that time, but it's kind of unknown right now. Uh, so. If you guys get any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I will definitely get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, remember to check out my website. You can see all my work. I've been tattooing about a decade now. Uh, Trainingveintattoos.com. You can also find me on Instagram um, under train underscore in underscore vein underscore tattoos. And then you can find me on Facebook at Train and Vein Tattoos, LLC. Um, thanks again, guys.